Now you are requested to open your textbook. Yes. All right. Textbook page number. Yes, eight. Yes, textbook page number eight. Please mention the date on this one page at the top. Parts of speech. The eight parts of speech are noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverbs, preposition, conjunctions, and interjections. Recall first seven parts of speech. Try to give an example of each. This one question, we are going to attempt this one question in our notebook. So now let me show you that how you will prepare your notebook. Obviously, you will start up uh, with uh, drawing a margin line first. Draw a margin line. It should be straight. And then mention the day and date. You have to follow the format. Uh, and first you write, uh, you write the day, then date. Classwork, unit number one, the world in the wall. Topic, parts of speech. Write an example of each part. Write an example of each part of speech. Here, uh, but we are writing more than one to have uh, better learning. We are writing more than one example here. There are eight parts of speech. Noun, pronoun, adjective, and you can see the examples. Table, fox, pen, pronoun, you, me, they, adjective, big, fluffy, old. You can add more examples to these. Then we have verb, think, sleep, went, adverb, loudly, sweetly, kindly. Then we have preposition, on, in, at, conjunction, and, but, because, Interjection, yummy, what, wow. Yes, these are the examples. And uh, now let's uh, take a look at the diary. Yes. Today's diary, yes, mark nouns, pronouns and adjective in the page as homework. Textbook page number 8C2. For this one, yes. This part, page number 8, is to be attempted as homework. For this one, let's read statement first. Make lists of nouns, pronouns, and adjective in the following passage. This is a passage and you are asked to mark nouns, pronouns, and adjective. For this one, I would suggest you to make a key first. And you can use different marker colors like this. Or you can use any color, coloring pencils, highlighter, whatever you're having at home. And make a key. Choose a color for noun. Then uh, choose a color for pronouns. And then adjective. Here in this one key, I have, cho I have chosen green for noun, yellow for pronouns, and orange for adjective. And wherever while reading, you will find the respective parts of speech, you will use that specific color there for example one day merlin the wizard came out of the deep green valleys of wales and passed along stone way uh, to london yes merlin is a name london is also a naming word it's uh, these both are nouns you will find more noun in the passage and wherever you find a noun you will use green marker there to underline or you can circle or you can underline whatever you like to do then when you find a pronoun in the passage use yellow color and whenever you and wherever you find adjective use orange color green is the adjective deep is also an adjective so you can use these uh, Marker, markers or coloring pencils to mark noun, pronoun and adjective. So this is about your homework. I've ex I'm sure that I have explained you well. So thank you very much. Look after yourself. Stay home. Stay safe.